Hey guys, welcome to this Beamer Code tutorial, man. So I can show you guys how you can customize your own BMW using Beamer Code. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Beamer Code is a app and that app can be used to connect to your car via one of these, right? These are uh, OBD connectors. So you can connect that to the port, which I'm going to do here in a minute. And the app can communicate with your car and you can do customizations to the car. And some of the reasons that people get this is to do things like customize the ambient lighting, disable auto start stop, turn off the seatbelt chimes, change the instrument cluster or dashboard. Uh, yeah, there's all kinds of things you can do with this, man. But let me show you guys how to use this. Um, pretty much first thing you need is one of these adapters right so let me tell you guys about the adapters first before I, I start talking about the app on my phone here okay so the adapters um beamer code recommends this one right they have other adapters recommended but this is one is like advertised as made for beamer code specifically right um so it's the obd link cx and it works fine i had no problems with this but i ended up buying this one this enet adapter because i found out that this is way faster right way faster so for example uh numbers wise this is like 24 24 megabits per second if i remember correctly and this is 100 so dramatic difference in the time it takes to read the car's configuration and write the code to it for changes right so if you guys are looking to get one of these adapters to be honest i don't see any problem with this one so far i haven't had any problems um but you know you could go with this one too it's all up to you and also this init adapter does work with um other apps like uh what was it boot mod 3 and some other apps but anyways so the the first thing um i already have my app pulled up here right and it's waiting to connect um let me put the adapter in i'm, I'm going for this tutorial i am going to be using this enet adapter right so you plug it into the port try and get it here <laughs> done this so many times i can just put this in put it in without even looking man <laughs> okay guys so before you start connecting to this adapter uh the first thing that is recommended is to put your phone in airplane mode right airplane mode so you can disable um certain connections right um i also recommend turning off bluetooth because this adapter which is the obd link this one is bluetooth and i'm not using this one the Enet adapter I showed you guys, that is the one I'm using. And that one is via Wi-Fi, not Bluetooth. So I'm going to tap and hold here. I'm using an iPhone and I'm going to connect to the... Uh, I, hate, I hate going through this menu sometimes on the... Let me just go through my settings. It's easier. So settings, Wi-Fi and uh enet wi-fi right so disconnect carplay yep right so the main thing is to make sure that you're connected to enet wi-fi okay that is the name of the adapter <laughs> so um it says no internet connection that is fine it doesn't need internet um access to connect directly to the adapter the only thing you need internet for guys is to purchase the app the license for the app so you would do that way before you start to connect to you know to, through through here okay so anyways let me just go to the app kind of giving you guys like a high level overview so i'm gonna hit connect right um it tells me to select the adapter that i'm using and you know in this case it is the enet wi-fi adapter i already have that selected because that's what i selected the last time and then i hit connect oh whoops sorry i did not hit the right thing i switched the adapter 
So Enet Wi-Fi adapter and connect. Right, it also says select my vehicle. And again, it went to the last one I selected, which is the BMW 5 Series or M5. So that one is my vehicle here. And I'm gonna hit continue. So you see it's reading, reading and almost done. So what it's doing is gathering all the information of things that you can configure and what it pulls up it depends on the series of your car so i'm not going to go through all these modules um because depending on your car you will not have the same thing you know um and this video would take too long but the main part of this video is i wanted to show you guys how to connect so one last time connecting make sure the phone you are using is in airplane mode right and if you're using this adapter obd link um it's through you're connecting through bluetooth and if you're using the enet adapter which i recommend because it's way faster um you would connect via wi-fi okay so i'm gonna do a quick coding to show you guys this works uh let me do the body domain controller Okay, let me do, I'm gonna change my default white color. I'll go back. I'm gonna change my white to uh, magenta red, right? So if I, whenever I see like white on here, it'll be this magenta red, right? That's the only change I'm making. So I will just hit code, right? And the app does backups, by the way, guys, automatically, right? It does backups, which is very important because there are some things that you cannot switch back unless you did revert to the backup, okay? So I will just hit code once I'm done, right? It'll give you like a important note here that it should not be interrupted. Make sure your, you know, device is charged. Airplane mode, which I talked about, you know, blah, blah, blah. So yep i just hit start coding and boom it's done and again this is and here uh, let me show you so that that beep oh let me show you guys something you see this error that is normal especially if the car is uh on right daytime parking lot malfunction um for that to go away i just have to turn off the car and back on because what it did it tried to restart the ecu or the computer while the car is on so they do recommend doing this while the car is off i'm in diagnostic mode oh that's my finger doing the mute um so you don't get these errors but you know once i start the car again you know all errors are gone so i just don't want you guys you know to do this and then you panic <laughs> so like i said i do it with the car on but you know you the real recommended way is having the car off in diagnostic mode all right so let me show you guys what i just did so if i go to white right you can see the color here that is not white <laughs> magenta red okay you can see it clear in the back so yeah quick beamer code tutorial man let me know what you guys think if you have any questions uh let me know in the comment section below um this app i mean to me it was pretty straightforward but you know if you guys have any problems or questions let me know bro and i'll be happy to answer for you guys um or make another video if needed but that is how you use beamer code how you connect to your car with beamer code and customize your bmw